All right, it's recording. Awesome, awesome. Vinny, thanks so much for taking some of your time on uh, Veterans Day weekend before your football game. Wanted to – basically, Veterans Day weekend has to be a, a pretty powerful weekend for you to reflect, not only on the experience that you had, but the experience of the individuals that you're working with, the individuals that you're meeting. So first question would be, how does Veterans Day hit you? How do you feel on this weekend? Um, it's kind of – Veterans Day for me is kind of bittersweet in a way. Um, I'm, I'm not a big – I'm not big on people coming up and thanking me for my service because that, ha that happens a lot, you know, especially on this day. Everybody wants to thank everybody for their service, and I truly appreciate it. But um, for me, it's just – it. It, it was just something I did. I, I signed my name on a piece of paper. Um, I volunteered for it. It's, I don't, I don't believe I did anything special. Um, but I, I, I do, I do, I do understand the gravity of, of, of to which we did as veterans, you know, as far as, you know, basically signing away our lives to protect the country. And, um, and I understand why people appreciate it for doing that. But, but for me, I'm, I'm not big on the accolades. It's just, it's just another day for me. It's, it's, it's great to be recognized as a veteran, but you know, it, it, it also, it defines me as a person of what I did, but it doesn't define me in my life. So. Daily appreciation, I think would be a, a key for you. Is that right? Well, yeah, kind of. Uh, to, to me, it's just, like I said, it, it's just, to me, it was a job. I know, I know it's really hard for people to understand. They don't understand it. They've never been in the military. Um, but it, it was a job. It was something I decided to do. And I, I enjoyed what I did. And I'm, I'm grateful that I did it. I would never change anything about doing it. It's just, it's, it's just, it is what it is. And I'd like to say thank you to all the other veterans out there, you know, the, that have done the things I've done. And, and, um, also sacrificed their life and their time and their family for, for their country. I, I want to thank them as well. But as I said, for me, it's, it's not about the accolades for me. It's just doing things that I enjoy doing and I just love helping people. So. Cool. Yeah. And I know it's, you may feel it's a little cliche, but I do for sure appreciate the, everything that the veterans are doing and everything active duty is doing right now. I mean, it's, we couldn't have the life that we, have if it wasn't for you and and for that particular population so you're in a different realm now i mean you're um is it retired retired from the marines actually i was um uh, i was forced out of the marine corps it's a really funny story but that's when they were having the big department of the cuts department of defense cutbacks when all that was going on and i had I, I was trying to re-enlist. They were trying to get me to re-enlist, you know, and, and trying to help me with that. But just where they were cutting at, the cuts they were making in the Department of Defense, it hit me right in the, I was in the intelligence community and that's what they got rid of. So I really was cut after 12 years. So not really retired. Right. No longer, no longer active, no longer part of the, the Marines per se. No. It's a, it's a bit of a different life for you right now. You know, fast forward to now where, I mean, you and, and Jojo, you and your wife were just named millionaires within the company that, that we're working with. And I see in your eye, when we, when we chat about veterans, when we chat about military, you have a huge passion for helping, like you said, helping others. But in particular, those, the, the veteran population that needs help. So can you share a little bit, you know, the state that you're at now, the position that you and Georgia are in now, and how you can, I mean, you have options on how you're going to help people and, and pretty, you have an awesome vision. Do you mind sharing that? Yeah. Well, well, first I'd like to say, you know, it's, to, to me, it's a travesty that, that people do basically sign their life away for their country. And when they get out of the Marine Corps, everybody forgets about them. And that, that, not saying they need the accolades. Like I said earlier, it's just that people just literally forget about them. And there's, you see so many, so many veterans that are basically homeless on the street and 
they don't want to be there. That you know that when when they were forced out of the military or they left the military or whatever whatever reason they got out, they basically a lot of these guys lost their sense of purpose, and it's it's due to nothing they did on their own. It's just when they went back home, they weren't appreciated. They had nowhere to go. They couldn't find a job. The economy was bad. What whatever the situation, they ended up on the street. And these guys want nothing more than to then to be appreciated, then to then to have, have a sense of purpose. And with that comes, you know, to help them, you need money to help them. I mean, let's be honest, this country is made of money. You know, for anybody to eat, you need money. For anybody to breathe, you need money. So I'm, I'm in a unique position right now because of this company and because of the, the path my wife Jojo chose to, to join this company is now we're in a financial position where I can help these veterans and I can, I can get them up off the street and I have a vision to start a uh, organic farm basically where we can grow vegetables and fruits and things like that. And the veterans on the streets would, would help tend to the, to the crops as, as you, if you were, and, or if you will. And um, then those, that food that's grown there would be used to feed other homeless veterans and other homeless people on the streets. So, and I, and now we're in a financial means where, that that's always been a dream of mine, but that dream can become like a quick reality because of the financial situation we're in. Give it back, man. It's it's great chatting with you about that because you know it, it. I truly believe that we're here for two reasons: number one, to help each other, pick each other up when we're down, and then number two, to have fun. And you certainly are one to pick someone up when they're down and you're one to have a blast <laughs> to have a whole lot of fun. And it's been a pleasure working with you. I think we're, we're just in the infancy of, of our working relationship, infancy of, of what we're going to be doing in the coming weeks, months, years. So it's truly a pleasure to be working with you. And, and I thank you for getting on the, getting on the phone or getting on the, the zoom here today and any final final thoughts um i i guess my final thought would be that i I think we all i'm not i'm not i'm not going to go into the godly thing because you know everybody has their own beliefs and everything but i think we all were put on this earth for a purpose and that that purpose as you said earlier is to help people We, we were all here to help people we can't we can't go through our lives by ourselves you know and for ourselves because it's just it there's no gratitude gratitude there there's no justification of what we're doing so i think our justification comes in helping people and and that's kind of my dream i just i just want to help as many people as i possibly can whether it be financially emotionally physically whatever it takes because that's what gives me the most um makes me feel the best i I guess you'd say And, and and i think we all have that same that same goal and that same ambition is to help people and that's that's where i like to leave this i just think you know Everybody wants to remember veterans on this weekend, and, and that's great. I appreciate that. But I think we should remember everybody every day of our lives. So that's where I want to leave it. Awesome. There's a quote where the only time I want to be looking down on someone is if I'm extending a hand to lift them up. And I think that, that piggybacks what you just said right there. But Vinny, I, again, thank you for being on here. Really appreciate it. If you don't mind, maybe down the line we'll get you get you back on and and uh, share some more of your story, some more of your passion. That'd be all right. Oh yeah, absolutely. That'd be that'd be great. And I I really appreciate you getting me on and and, and allowing me to have a little platform and to tell a little story this morning. So that's awesome. Awesome. Hey, enjoy the game today. Go oh, Cowboys. Thanks. Yeah, go Cowboys. <laughs> all right. All right, brother. Thanks, Ben. Yep. Thank you. All right.